2021 is an exciting year as it marks the 30th anniversary of the Wells Fargo Nebraska Open. The 54-hole event kicked off with today's annual Pro-Am, welcoming many of our proud sponsors for a full day of celebration and camaraderie. Not only is this week the second biggest golf tournament in the state, but more importantly, this event will surpass $1.8 million in total funds raised for the Nebraska Community College System, with nearly 150,000 more this year. As we look at the growth of this event over the past 30 years, some special people talk about where it all began, beginning with Jack Crowley, who hit today's ceremonial tee shot. We had a call from Jim White. He said, Jack, we're having trouble getting the Nebraska Open going. You got any ideas? I said, yes, I do. So we all met for lunch up here in Columbus, and uh, that's how this whole thing got started. When we were approached, I said, well, you know, let's make this into something. And with all the people involved from the Nebraska Public Power District and the community college system, with Jack Crowley spearheading that up on the community college side, and and uh, getting to know Ron Watkins and Beth Besch at uh, the Nebraska Public Power District, we were able to put something together. And it was just a good marriage right from the start. Uh, you know, from a vision standpoint, you know, I was hoping we could continue this as long as we possibly could. Little did I realize that we would get 30 years uh, out of this. It, it wasn't in my uh, wildest dreams. It's really been a huge group effort to get this tournament to where it is today, which is a highly respected, good money payout state championship. The Nebraska Public Power District has played an instrumental role in operating this event since its inception. And on their behalf, Beth Betch talks about their motivation to be part of this event through the years. Almost $1.8 million has been contributed to scholarships for Nebraska students. And I think that is just incredible. Uh, think about all of the students who would not have had the opportunity to go to college if it wouldn't be for the scholarships that this tournament has provided. And we all know that education is very important to success in life. And a lot of the graduates, I would say probably 90% of the graduates of the state's community college systems stay in Nebraska. Relationships between the organizations that put this event together has been key to taking this state open to where it's at today. It's a, it's a very unique marriage when they take business, industry, public power, golf professionals, and education and put them all together. It's a remarkable marriage. I'd like to give a shout out to all of those who have helped and particularly all of the businesses who have supported this event through the years and the pros. You know, it gives the opportunity for the businesses to have some really quality golf. So I just think it's been a tremendous event for everybody who's been involved. PGA member Jeff Porter, who has played an instrumental role in the tournament since the beginning, has high praises for everyone involved. The greatest uh, compliment I can give to this event is um, probably directed to uh, NPPD and, and uh, Wells Fargo for their ongoing support. I mean, without their support, this doesn't happen. And then the vision of Jack Crowley, Bruce Lubach, Jim White for getting it started and then sustaining it. Along with the sponsors, the board, and the players, Elks Country Club deserves a lot of the praise for hosting the event for the past 30 years. Head PGA golf professional Mike Van Cannon talks about why it's been an easy yes year in and year out to host. We're very honored uh, to be able to host this event. Uh, all the people that participate, they all win. Uh, the golf professionals, it's a great way uh, for them to step stone up to the, to the maybe a tour. Um, our community benefits from uh, the influx of people. Uh, MPPD does a great job, and of course the biggest winners uh, are the kids that go to community colleges here in Nebraska. Uh, they're the biggest winners, and that's why we do it. Thank you to everyone that traveled out to Columbus for today's Pro-Am to kick off another exciting week. The three-day, 54-hole state open begins tomorrow morning with tea time starting at 8 a.m. The public is invited to come out and watch some great golf, and we're excited to crown another champion on Sunday.